Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. For today's video I'm going to outline a new book. This is a part of the process that I absolutely love because I am a big plotter. I like to plan things out a lot. <laughs> I like to plan things before I write to get a hang of my characters, get a hang of my, my world. This is so freaking exciting for me. This is a part of my Preptober series. I recently published a video about my recent projects and what I have been working on and what I will be working on. And I talk about this project that I'm going to outline now. I talk about that in that video. And then I also published a Scrivener setup. So while I was setting up this Scrivener file that I'm gonna open right now, I actually filmed that whole process and answered some of your questions from my Instagram. And let's just get into it. So if you haven't watched my Scrivener setup, I can just quickly go through my Scrivener setup. So right here I have chapters where I write the damn thing. And like you can see here, just overall, the red theme is going strong in this one. Here I have the characters. So I have three main characters, MC1, MC2 and MC3. And MC3 is MC1's sister. Uh, anyway, here's my all my main characters. Here I have three uh, different places, castle, nature and empire, slash or military nation. And then I have my outline, the overarching outline, which is the story beats, the template for my characters. The same with this outline here, R from Abby Emmons. And then I also have an outline for a romantic arc. I don't really know how much I'm gonna outline in this video or before starting the book because I know up until like half of the book I know the big events or some romantic scenes and some turning points. I know like for the first act I know everything that's going to happen but I don't think I will outline the end of the book right now. I think I need to get a feel for the story and actually sit down and write it. Oh my god! I'm going to... I'm going to pick names today. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna <laughs> pick names right now and you're going to come with me. So I'm going to go into Pinterest and I'm gonna go and check my, my Pinterest board that I already have for like fantasy book names. You know, when I picked these out, I really was looking for names that would fit into my recent projects or the ones that I was working on. So I don't really know if any of these really fit the vibe that I'm looking for. And then there's a thing with like, do I want a specific type of name? And here I'm talking about like cultural names or names that represent a region in our own world. Like for example, if I want to have an Asian name, if I want to have that to be a part of like the world building, or if I want to have more Scandinavian names like I had for Gods of Rotten Rune, the humans had more Scandinavian names because it is Norse inspired, so I wanted to have more like Norse sounding names. Oh, he's so beautiful! This is a guy in um, K-drama. <laughs> uh, here we have, gosh, he's so handsome. Yes, he is. Anyway, I'm fine girly <laughs> again. What are we going to do here? We are going to search for uh, girl names beginning with T. We're going to go to baby center and search for baby names. So now we are beginning with R. Also baby center, baby center is going strong. I am at a baby center list again with dark scary baby names for girls and boys. And I like Blair, but that isn't really a real name here in Sweden. I like Ebony, Ivy, Lilith, Morticia, Noir. Noir, Nora. Noir. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get to doing this and I'm gonna update you guys about what I pick. I have an update. I picked names for all my characters or the main ones. I still haven't picked names for my main character 2's friends, but they are not a big part in the beginning of the story, so I'm just gonna put that over there for now. But I have decided that my main character for now is going to be called Noor. Um, not at all what I was, you know, thinking. I may very much change this in the future because I have another name that I really like for my main character 3 and I'm thinking of oh, maybe switching those two up. But I really like 
note as my first main character's name. It is a little bit too nice sounding from what I really wanted. But either way, I have a name for my main character 1 and my main character 2. And I don't really know if I'm going to call him that because I may need to think on it a little bit more. So I have decided that there are going to be 5 sisters in total. I really liked what the name that I came up with for the youngest sister and it's really creepy and I, I haven't really seen this name anywhere I just put two things together and I, I also have the age down. For the rest of the day I think that I am going to just sit down and figure out my main character's backgrounds and my main characters how they look and their vibes and really answer this template for all of my characters and in this there's the basics like how they look their age and then we have the their internal struggles and goals and misbeliefs a little bit of backstory a little bit of this and that and I'm, I'm gonna answer that for the three of my main characters and then I'm gonna also fill out the, the side character templates. Like I haven't got a clue really how the sisters are going to act or be but I feel like that is something that I can easily figure out and that I can easily change if I don't like the way a character is. And then I may or may not be putting in like pictures for my places today. I actually skip that for tomorrow because tomorrow I am planning on outlining my actual book, like, you know, writing the damn outline and answering all of those questions. Okay, so it's the next day, it's Friday the 8th of October and yesterday I did finish up outlining my book until the midpoint and as you can see here, I'm trying not to really show you anything, I have colored the parts that has to do with the romantic outline because I haven't really written anything in my romantic outline except for all the tropes that I want to fit in this book. Most of them I have already like planned out and are going to come naturally throughout the story and so that was really fun. The thing that I'm going to do now, the last thing I'm gonna do before writing is to actually put the tropes and these cute scenes that I want in the book in the big outline so that in certain plot points or the consequences of certain plot points are going to lead to some romantic building or build up for my main characters and so yeah that is definitely something that I will have to do and just see it's really like a puzzle to see where the romantic parts fit into the bigger picture so yeah I have all the characters done except for my third main character's love interest I still haven't got a clue of who this person is I don't know if it's going to be a, a man or a woman or I know it's going to be like someone that is close to her in the sense of you know in the castle but much more than that and the personality traits I know them but I don't know much more than that and I need to figure that out before writing because I want to have two main romantic storylines in this book and the third main character needs to have that too. Then I have all my places and this doesn't look any great at all but I did put more pictures in here so that I can have multiple pictures that represent my story. And then the world and the magic. I still haven't drawn a world map and I don't really know if I want to do that. Maybe just a quick sketch will do. Then I also have magic and rules which I put down really quickly. The magic is based on moons and then I also have pictures of demons here that I want to represent how my demons are in this one. So with that said, that is everything that I am going to show you for today's video. I know that I have already shared a lot with you guys and I feel a little bit, you know, uneasy about it because I don't usually like to share during the first part of my book so I feel a little bit vulnerable sharing this with you but I hope that you enjoyed it and got something out of this. I feel like this was a little bit different from my last Outline With Me video. I feel like when I did that video I didn't really know anything about outlining. It was the first time doing it and since doing that and then outlining short stories and watching a lot of, you know, new videos with outlining I have learned a lot and so if you go back and watch that video that I published in March. If I haven't already I can link in one of these corners and also in the description. You will probably see that my process has maybe changed a lot and 
I know that I've shown you more in this video than that video. So that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments what you are working on in October. If you're going to participate in NaNoWriMo or Preptober. Let me know in the comments. Leave a like if you liked the video. And subscribe because I post a new video every week, every Thursday. Reading stuff, writing stuff. I think I'm going to focus a lot more on the writing stuff in the following months. Because I feel like that's the videos that do the best for me. And a lot of NaNoWriMo stuff is coming along. And I'm going to vlog the whole of November if I find the motivation to. But I hope you're looking forward to that and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!